like a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold and gave them to her. Well, the Spirit of God decks out the church too, you know. Not exactly this way, not with external jewels, but what the scripture speaks of as the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, the inner man. He decorates the inner man. He makes the inner person beautiful. Many of you know Brother T. Ernest Wilson. And uh, one day, he was out to a restaurant with a business associate, business friend. And as they were leaving the restaurant, Mr. Wilson went outside and the businessman was paying the check. And the waitress said, excuse me, who is that man with you? Well, that's uh, Mr. Tiernis Wilson from New Jersey. Why, do you know him? No, she said, but he has the face of an angel. Now, he's not an effeminate man. He went into Africa when he was 20 years of age with a shotgun to shoot his own food and a hammer to build his own house. And when he left 40 odd years later, he had learned four African languages plus Portuguese. He translated the Bible. He had left hundreds of assemblies there. He's no wimp. But he has the face of an angel. You can't buy any soap that'll give you that shine, you know. It comes by spending time with the bridegroom. It is the ministry of the Spirit of God to take of the things of Christ and show them to us. And in the process, to make us more and more like the Lord Jesus himself. And that's the high honor of the Christian, isn't it? To be able to pick out of a crowd someone and say, you know, I think that person's a Christian. Nothing to do with physical beauty. It has to do with this wonderful beautification program that the Spirit of God works in the life of the Christian and makes us every day, if we'll let him, a little less like the world and a little more like the Lord Jesus.